Um, Mr. President, do you think Elon Musk is a threat to U.S. national security? And should the U.S. and with the tools you have investigate his joint acquisition of Twitter with foreign governments, which include the Saudis? <laughs> That's all I'll say. There's a lot of ways. Uh, all right. Biden's being a popular, a a Biden's being an extremist. In ruins. Good God! With Fetterman winning and the media already calling for him to be president, it's clear that increasingly degraded mental capacity is now a resume enhancer, if you are a Democrat. Well, I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you to ignore that red wave talk and it turned out to be correct. Although, of course, the media are doing their job and spinning it as positively as they can. In usual fashion, the standards have now also changed, with the popular vote no longer being important. In response, Adolf Sniffler stood in front of a podium to incoherently mumble responses to softball questions from pre-picked, friendly Democrat media. Republicans have made it clear that if they do take control of the House, that they want to launch a raft of investigations on day one into your handling of Afghanistan, the border. Uh, they want to look into some of your cabinet officials. They want to investigate you. They may even want to investigate your son. Lots of luck in your senior year, as my coach used to say. What the f does that mean? Look, um, I think the American public wants us to move on and get things done for them. Excuse me. What? Ever since you took office, things have only gotten worse. From the economy, energy prices, national division, the border, crime, media corruption, and worst of all, the very real threat of worldwide nuclear war. It's kind of amazing how oblivious the public seems to be about that. We're gonna get right back into roasting Biden, but first take 30 seconds to check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Did you know Noble Gold's team of precious metals experts have have helped thousands of worried investors like you to build and preserve wealth through times like these? Find out why gold, silver, and IRAs are the answer to inflation and financial contagion. Talk to a personal precious metals expert today. Oh, and this month they're gifting a free three ounce silver American virtue coin with every qualified IRA above $20,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And as always, there's a link in the description or pinned comment. Just remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. It was reported, whether it's accurate or not, I'm not sure, but it was reported many times that Republicans were saying and the former president said, how many times are you going to impeach Biden? You know, uh, impeachment proceeding against Biden. I mean, I think, the re I think the American people will look at all of that for what it is. It's just, uh, I'm almost comedy. It's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny, it's not funny! It's not funny. It's not funny. Not funny. And as far as investigations, are you kidding me? We went through four years of nonstop investigations and impeachments of the last president that still continue to rack up. All of it starting with calls to impeach him a week before he even was inaugurated. Biden is telling you what those Democrat investigations were all about when he says that the American people look at investigations of him as almost comedy. It's have to demonstrate that he will not take power by uh, if we uh, if he does run uh, making sure he uh, under legitimate efforts of uh, our constitution does not become the next president again <laughs> first off i may be an idiot but i have no idea what that's supposed to mean but let's put on our thinking caps and use our imaginations if a republican president say ron DeSantis, went out there and said the exact same thing but about his democrat rival what do you think the response would be <laughs> They would lose their minds and democracy would be over. Biden's DOJ is currently trying to indict Trump. And before that, Obama's FBI lied to FISA courts and did other corrupt acts in order to spy on the Trump campaign. Now Biden says that he'll somehow prevent his political rival from getting power. Combine this with the Democrats, Biden and their media mouthpieces repeating endlessly for the last few years that unless they have power, then democracy is over and things begin to look increasingly authoritarian.
We didn't ban assault weapons. I'm going to ban assault weapons. They're going to try like the devil. Oh, here we go. All right. So we already knew that Joe Biden wanted to ban assault weapons. But the problem here is that the media refuses to scrutinize him on this and at least ask him to define what an assault weapon is. In reality, the definition of assault weapon can mean any semi-automatic weapon, which most firearms are. The truth is our media is in on this game to deceive the public because they want us all disarmed. Um, Mr. President, do you think Elon Musk is a threat to U.S. national security and should the U.S. and with the tools you have investigate his joint acquisition of Twitter with foreign governments, which include the Saudis? <laughs> Elon Musk's cooperation and or technical relationships with other countries uh, is worthy of being looked at. Right. You know what I think is worth looking into? The national security threat posed by Joe Biden's energy policy, which forces America to be dependent on Saudi Arabia and Russia for our energy. And of course, it's a member of the free press who asks the president to crack down on the free speech and investigate his rivals. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, that's all I'll say. There's a lot of ways. Uh, all right. Nope. Nothing ominous about that. Unpopular leftist president propped up by corrupt media. Criminalization of his opponents. Press becomes state media for one party, his party. Mass censorship and suppression of news that's harmful to that puppet. And then last but not least, disarming the public. All of these things adding up to one outcome, authoritarianism, ushered in by Joe Biden, Democrats, and their willing media accomplices. Because remember, you can't have authoritarianism without an institutional support base, and they are that. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please hit that like button, share it, and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think and vent that frustration. Thanks a lot.